Well, if you're a beginner, you might be struggling which brand to choose, where, let me tell you, it doesn't really matter that much, but I'll give you a few pointers. First of all, if uh, I'm gonna tell you about the professional brand. So if you're, if you're thinking about being a professional, then you could start straight away with those good brands like DeWalt, Makita, uh, and Milwaukee. Also, Fest Tools, they are on the D side, but they're really good. So these are three, those three brands plus Fest Tools, uh, they are kind of professional brands. Then we've got Ryobi, which is, almost as good as those professional brands and lots of professionals use Ryobi simply because they're quite good as well. But they, they're also very good for occasional DIYers or serious DIYers, uh, so um, they're very good tools. And then there are cheaper brands like, for example, McAllister here in the UK. Uh, in the US, I think there is this brand called Hard that's got a very similar color scheme. Not sure if it's uh, the same actually, these are the same tools or the same company behind it. Um, but the design is very similar. So I've, I've chosen Ryobi because for two reasons, <laughs> really. I like the design, they're really nice. Uh, two, they have a already good reputation and they have a battery system, one battery fits everything, which is important. Now, McAllister, I recommend McAllister because it's one of those brands that just knows which corners to cut to make the product really inexpensive, but at the same time, good looking and performing well. So this one is really small light uh, it weighs only uh, what is it with the battery 1260 grams so it's very similar to this one the compact professional one uh, how much this one uh, weighs I think very similar yet uh, what is it 1400 so this is a drill this is a drill uh, I'm looking at the need to look at the uh, impact driver and it's got 1270 so practically the same weight as the compact professional one and much lighter than the other standard uh, impact drill so it's a good start uh, they come with small two batteries in a kit 65 pounds for a kit with two batteries and a charger and the charger is really really small is just this thing so very important thing i've got um i've got here a uh, mac alice an, an older uh, drill a bigger made of metal but it doesn't necessarily mean it's better and it comes with bigger batteries uh, not only capacity but size is bigger uh now it, it got stuck so um whoopsie whoopsie so in comparison uh let me get you the smaller battery quickly so this is the size difference. Uh, don't know if you see, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the, uh, the connectors are different. The connectors are different, actually. So this is a smaller connector. This one is bigger con connector as well. So they're not interchangeable, uh, which, is, uh, which is annoying. Not a big deal, but you know, it's good to have one set of batteries for everything. Uh, but because this is an older model, it also came with this very big, uh, huge charger <laughs> as opposed to this, uh, uh, where is it, this tiny small one with this uh, new um, impact driver. Now, McAllister does make uh, smaller drills as well. Now make sure that you buy 18 volt, you could buy 12 volt, but if, you know, if you're buying good tools, just buy 18 and, and have this extra power. So this one is 100, uh, this impact dr uh, driver is 100, uh, newton meters whereas the uh, this one is 200 and i think this one is uh, 240 uh, newton meters uh, so um this one is still good i've uh, i've drilled this kind of a thick screw into big piece of wood and then i use these to kind of see if they would go any f further they didn't maybe marginally so this one is really good uh, and it's also good for delicate uh, anything that's delicate basically so i can because it doesn't have a lot of power and gives me more control over the speed but then again if i have a little bit better equipment i can control the speed here and even better it it's turns ridiculously slowly and I hit the slow speed every time I press the button. So, um, so what, what's my conclusion? Well, uh, I also have other tools by Mike Alistair, this uh, saw, and uh, this one is corded, uh, so with a cable, and I've just got this one. Uh, probably they do the same things, just this one is with a battery, and because it's got battery, uh, it's heavy, because they weigh more or less the same, but when I add the battery here, even if it's a small battery, Ryobi does make small batteries, you know. Uh, actually, it's uh, Ryobi, or Ryobi, it's a German brand. Uh, small battery, so when I add the battery, it's much heavier than uh, this one. So uh, I see no reason why you should not use this one unless you really need a cordless. Now, when you buy a jigsaw with a bag, or you buy a bag for a jigsaw, 
make sure that it fits the back with actually a, uh, the, the blade attached. I think it's annoying that brands uh, produce those uh, bags, but it's difficult to fit with the blade. I mean, I can, fortunate I can fit uh, this in with the blade, but just barely. So McAllister, okay, you did an, an okay job. It's a pass for 20, I mean, for 25 quid, come on. For the whole set, I mean, it comes with two blades, a guide, a metal guide, so you can, you know, drive along an edge, uh, and, and a nice uh, jigsaw and a bag. I think it's a no-brainer, 25 quid. Thank you. So thank you, McAllister. Beautiful. Uh, okay, uh, what other things to consider with other brands? So on Amazon, there are also many other brands that have popped up. They are producing lots of tools. I think this metric or something, and there are other ones. They have very good reviews. They offer brushless tools. And so, uh, so brushless engines. Now, if you don't know brushless, it means the electric engine doesn't have those brushes. The rotation is controlled uh, electromagnetically. So uh, less noise, uh, more power and longer, longer life because there is no friction because brushes uh, cause friction. Uh, so those cheaper brands also offer for brushless engines, but the question is, is it worth saving money or is it better to buy something like Ryobi? That's a well-established brand. Uh, you know, it's up to you. I think whatever you do, you're gonna be fine. If you're not a professional, if it's just a little bit of DIY, whichever one you buy, you'll be all right, okay? Whichever one you buy, you'll be okay, one way or another. Yeah, you might not be satisfied with this and that, but you remember, you're saving money and that's good. Now, if you don't care so much about saving money, but about doing a, doing a good job, simply invest into something more expensive or well-established. Well, uh, McAllister is on the cheap side. It's I think it's a good, well-established brand and not the best, obviously, but uh, it's got an appeal. It looks nice. I like the design of McAllister and uh, I like the design of Ryobi. Ryobi is, I don't know, maybe a little bit nicer, but just a little bit. I really like both designs, you know, and for me, it's important. For me, it's important. I know for many people, it's also important. Some people don't like the green color. They prefer the red color of uh, Milwaukee or the green blue color of Makita. You know, each to their own. Choose something that you like visually. I, that's my recommendation, unless you completely don't care about it. I like to grab a tool, look at it, and feel pleasure of you know looking at it, holding it. It's important to me. So again, uh, don't be afraid of experimenting. Uh, but if you if you're planning to buy for many years, buy a little bit better. So you've got uh, the battery compatibility for years to come. You've got support to come. You've got a brand that will exist for longer. You, you can expand more tools. So Ryobi has got something like 150 tools. Uh, if we remove duplicates, it probably will be 50 or something, but still a, a huge uh, range of tools. Uh, same with other, many other professional brands. McAllister, they're not as... They also have quite many tools and you can go to B&Q here in the UK and buy... Uh, quite a few yeah big choice of those tools including pressure washers uh what else they have trimmers all sorts of tools as well so um seriously go and buy whatever you like and you, you probably you'll be happy whatever you choose you will probably be happy if you're buying on amazon just make sure you read the reviews make sure there are like hundreds of reviews at least and and the, at least 4.3.4.4 4. i would say if 4.5 and above it's great anything uh, four between four and 4.4, you know, maybe. So four and a half and more. That's my recommendations. By the way, thank you for using my links. I appreciate it, guys. Have a great time. Take care. See you next time.